before I start my very first day of nursing school. Well, it's actually the middle of the night, early morning, I guess you can call it. It's 1.06 right now. So um, I have to be to class by eight o'clock in the morning. I want to get there a little bit early. So I'm about to get ready to lay down, but I just finished my hair. All I did was redid the ponytail that I had in my hair and I used some different hair. This hair is a little bit off. Like it's a little bit more orangey than the other hair I had, but, and that's crazy because this hair was more expensive than the other hair I had. The other hair I had, I think was like $13 or something like that for the little, for the little bundle. And this right here, it came in a like, um, pack and it was like $30. So I, girl, I'm not really going to get into talking, talking, talking about it. I did my hair. It's just a simple little middle part. And I left my little, whatever the hell you want to call these little thingies right here. I left it out. And I'm about to lay down and get me some rest, girl, because I'm kind of sleepy. So I will talk to you guys in the morning and I will let you guys see my uniform and everything. And I have to get up a little bit earlier than normal because I do want to vlog this for you guys. So good night. Good morning, you guys. It is the first day. Uh-oh, what am I doing? It's the first day of school and I'm getting ready right now. Um, but for the most part, I'm already ready, but I have a few last minute things I need to do. I'm about to get ready to take my bonnet off real quick so I can um, fix my hair. Not really much that needs to be done to it. I just need to comb out the ponytail section. I'm also undoing my tripod so I can take some pictures before leaving. And I want to take pictures while I have these little press-ons, like these little press-on eyelashes on. Yeah, I want to take some pictures before that so I can come back in here, take them off real quick, and then leave. I don't know if I told you, but they said we cannot have press-on eyelashes, but we can have eyelash extensions. And... I just hate that they waited until four days before class started to say that. They told us that in the orientation. And the reason why I'm like, I guess, feeling some type of way about it is because um, when they were sending us the emails about the school and the requirements and stuff, and stuff, they were like, no false eyelashes, none whatsoever. So now that they're saying lash extensions, it's like, damn. Like, I just wish I had more time to prepare, but it's okay. I'm going to take these off after I take my pictures and then get ready to head out. So... I'm also about to grab a few little snack items real quick to eat. Um, I'm not going to be taking like a real lunch lunch to school just yet because I want to like go in there and see how it is and what the pace is before I make the decision to do that. Because if I don't have time to like sit down and eat comfortably, then I'm probably not. Like if things are too, you know, busy, then, you know. Anyways, girl, I'm about to finish getting ready. I just wanted to say good morning and I'm super excited. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So I purchased this watch right here specifically for school. I will put it in my Amazon storefront. I'm probably going to be making a nursing school category for my Amazon storefront. So just be on the lookout for that. But yeah, this is the watch. It is a large handed watch or what is it called? I don't know the correct, like the exact name of it, but I specifically wanted a watch that had extra bold numbers on it. And if you can see this here, let me try to get it to focus. It's having a hard time focusing, girl, but as you can see, but as you can see, the numbers are pretty huge. And then there's some smaller numbers there that even tell you the freaking military time. So that is great. Love it. And then I also just got these little stud earrings because we can't have any type of hoops. I also can't wear a necklace. So yeah, um, re requirements for my uniform are these kind of earrings, a watch like this. <laughs> I can't have on any type of necklace. And then these are the uniform. I'm also gonna show you a full outfit as soon as I can. Okay, you guys. So I ended up getting on a phone call conversation and I could not like video myself as I was heading out. Um, but I did get a chance to take pictures. You know, you can still take pictures while on the phone. So that's what I did. And now I'm heading to school. I'm actually gonna get there earlier, but that's the point. I want to be there and in class earlier. Um, for one, I don't know if there's a signed seating or not. And for two, if there's not a signed seating, I want to sit right in the front row, right smack dab in front. So I'm looking the teacher dead in her eyeballs. Anyways, you guys, this is how my uniform looks. It's very basic. It's just royal blue scrubs. On this side, I do have my school pin, um, uh, not pin, my school patch on this side of my scrub jacket and my scrubs. So that's what we're looking like. <sighs> Literally so cool. 
Hi y'all, so first day of school was a success. Um, I can't really record much in the school, but I will record as much as I can when I can. For the most part, they literally be having us put our phones in this little cubby pocket crap. So, um, but we do have times that we do pick up the phone and when I can, I will show you guys what I can. Um, today, all we did was really go over like some of the basics of like what we're gonna be doing in class and class scheduling and all that good stuff. And then we also got a clinical bag, which it has all the like materials that we need in it for clinicals. Uh, although I'm accepting and appreciative of the fact that I got some free items, which is not technically free because I, I paid for it when I paid for the school and its own. Um, although I got these items right here, like from the school, your girl's about to go on Amazon and look up each one of these items that's in this bag and I'm going to get it in pink. <laughs> I need every item in pink. I need a pink stethoscope. I need a pink, I need a pink, a blood pressure cup. I need a pink, um, O2 reader. I need a pink, I need everything pink. So I'm about to be doing that later on today, uh, but not right now. Right now I'm about to get ready to go pick up the boys from my Nana's. They don't start school until Thursday and it's currently Tuesday. They're back to school night is tonight though. So we're gonna do back to school night and all that stuff. And then after I get done with back to school night, then we're gonna go home and I'm gonna cook for them and all that good stuff. Also, when I get home, I have to fix this. Even though I just redid this ponytail last night, I have to redo it again. And like, well, I'm not gonna take it out. I'm gonna just wrap it up. So it's like up off my neck. Long story short, I can't like, you, you can't have hanging hair when it comes to this. One thing that we did do so far in class was practice um, putting on PPE and hand washing which yes I already know how to do that stuff but still is something that we have to go over and while doing that I basically realized that just because you've been taught something in the medical field doesn't mean it's done right because everybody in the medical field does different things um, what I was taught as a med tech is different than what I've been taught what, what I'm being taught right now as a nurse even with something as simple as hand washing it's crazy because when when I was trained as a med tech the way that they trained me to wash my hands after you dry them, you start from your wrist and you dry down. Well, in nursing, when you dry your hands, you go from the fingertips up to the wrist to dry. It's, it's that, that is a simple example, but that's just one example I can give you guys. But yeah, we didn't do much today, so I don't really have much to talk about. Um, I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna be coming on here every single day telling you guys what every single day is like, or if I'm gonna like come once a week and kind of like give you an update i don't know girl i'm still trying to figure out the like basis of exactly what i'm going to be doing or how i'm going to be doing these vlogs because i know for 100 sure that i do want to take you guys along this entire journey from start to finish with me but i just don't know how to do that without like overwhelming myself um i don't want to get too caught up in recording for you guys that i don't that i don't like pay attention to my class and school that i'm supposed to and i'm not gonna let myself do that of course so yeah i'm just still figuring out girl they are the reasons we doing it we doing it for them is why we're doing it <laughs> boys i love you too got the boys say hi hi mommy what on this podcast a lot of people are hungry Okay, now we are at back to school now. Okay, girl, now it's like nine something at night. Um, nine or ten something at night, girl. I should have looked at the time before even getting on here starting to talk to y'all. But anyways, I'm out here watering the plants. Um, I feel like they grow better when they're being watered at night and they have a chance to soak in the stuff instead of at daytime when the sun just like evaporates the water. So yeah, I water the plants at night. Good morning, y'all. We're on day two of classes. I don't think I'm going to be getting on here every single day telling you guys what I'm doing. I think I'm probably going to, at the end of the week, tell you about what units I have to do um, or that I have done for the previous week or something, girl. I'm going to be explaining to y'all what like subjects we're talking about and stuff. So I got to get out. It is 7.53 right now. I got to be in there by 8 o'clock. So I'm going to hurry up and run in there. I got my smoothie. I also have a bottle of water. I have a lot of shit to carry, you guys. And I'm going to be going to order a bog bag really, really soon. So I got a lot of shit to carry. First of all, I have a lab bag to carry. They gave me this lab bag. I have my regular bag that I got all my books and pencils, pens, and all that good stuff in it. I got this water. I got this freaking smoothie i just told you about and then i need a lunch box because i'm not about to be leaving campus to go get lunch or maybe i could like order uber eats or 
DoorDash or something. Girl, that just seems too much. I'd rather just bring my food to school. Like, I can stop somewhere in the morning before coming to school, like Starbucks or Wawa or something, and get something and, like, bring it with me in my lunchbox. Or even fix it at home. But let me get in there because you know me. I'll talk, I'll talk. All right, y'all. I am out of class, and me and the boys are in the store. You know what I'm saying? Hi. Okay, girl, we back home now. Um, I'm not even gonna fly to y'all. I kind of bought me a cup of wine. I'm gonna tell y'all something. I don't think that um, me, the schoolwork itself is gonna be what's hard. I think the like extra stuff that I'm having to do in between is what's gonna be hard. Being a mother full time while you're trying to go to school and you got other stuff happening in the background, it's just hard. And long story short, I just got a phone call from the boys' school telling me that there was a paperwork issue with one of them. And long story short, one of them is not going to be able to start school till next week, which, granted, they're starting on a Thursday this year, so it's not like a huge deal. But at the same time, all three of them should be there. Like, they waited till the day before school starts, which is today, to tell me this. I don't understand how they were able to, like, register my son for class, tell me, like, what, like, um, teacher was and all that stuff. But then when I got the phone call today they're like oh well, we couldn't register him because we didn't have this document it's one piece of paper that they're missing i guess their school registrar she switched and because she switched to a different school they don't like to have the paper and all this mess girl so i had to basically make arrangements for my son to go somewhere else and you know yeah my support system is amazing they're definitely still helping me out i called them to explain what was going on and they you know we're still here to help with no problem, but <laughs> the fact that I had to like do all that is just like, damn, I made plans for tomorrow to be able to like, you know, don't, it don't even matter. Point is being a mom and having to like handle mommy duties while trying to manage school as well and working full time, crazy. Oh my God. Um, so yeah, all of that being said, I don't think the school part is going to be hard. I think the managing everything else on the outside that that's what's gonna be hard anyways girl i'm about to take these um crabs out i they smell disgusting they're, they're just a bag of crabs got them from public they're three bushels or yeah i think it's lip off they're three bushels and they're not for me they're they're for the boys um they've been asking me for crabs for a while now and the last time we went to like crab place is when they had them um so i'm about to make some for them and do it on the stove, and I'm about to get settled. I just want to say hey to you guys, so I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Good morning, y'all. So I'm currently heading to class right now. Um, I decided to go ahead and pack a lunch today because I don't want to keep spending money on the little vending machines and stuff that are in school, but I also don't want to like drive anywhere to go get anything to eat either. I really wanted to save money while I'm going through school, especially because I'm not working as much. Um, I don't have like an open schedule anymore. So yeah, I packed lunch. I actually grabbed a salad. Um, I made a salad, a Greek salad. And I also brought a couple granola bars and like a Capri Sun. Um, not much at all. I wanted it to be very light because I don't want to be like stuffed to the point where I'm I'm sleepy. I done got the itis and stuff like that. <laughs> Mm, you know what they say when you eat and you get stuff like that you want to go to sleep so yeah I didn't bring anything heavy but realistically though I don't even think I'm going to be able to eat this salad today I actually forgot the dressing and I know myself I'm not one of those girls that can just eat a salad without any type of dressing um no not me never will be me so I'm thinking that I'm still going to take the lunchbox into school and stuff but I'm not gonna uh I'm not gonna eat it. I'm just gonna carry it around through the day, I guess. But yeah, um today is Thursday. It was also the boys' first day of school, which is great. I got a couple of pictures, but I'm not gonna lie, I we, I was rushing this morning. Like I woke up on time and everything else like that, but I think because it's the first day of school and like everybody's still getting um everybody's still like getting used to their schedule and stuff like that especially even me with starting school just a couple days ago myself i think we were all kind of like flustered and stuff like that so to say the least uh they got to school on time i'm late to school today because of 
me having to drop them off but going forward starting next week they're going to be in the little uh what the little program is it's like a before school program where they get to go there early and they're going to be doing that this school year while i'm in school But yeah, girl, I'm going to get off this camera. I really don't have much to talk about. I just wanted to give you guys an update and tell you guys what I was doing. Um, yeah, that's really it. I, I don't really have much else to say at all, so I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, yeah, I know what I was going to tell you guys. I have my first test today. Um, it's a 50-question test. And, um, it's a 50-question test, and the subject that it's on is anatomy and physiology. So, yeah. Or is it nursing, or is it, or is it nursing fundamentals? Girl, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I get the classes that I'm supposed to be, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, I get the class names a little bit mixed up. Like I know what material I'm supposed to be studying, so I, I definitely study every day. Um, I've only been here two days, but I've been studying, girl. But the names of the class, I'm still getting used to that. You guys know it's only the first week, of course, so yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna get off here. Okay, girl, we're walking in here now. It's gonna be 8.45. Got a freaking clinical bag, lunchbox, and a purse. We decided on Panera. Okay, girl, I got it. I got four minutes to get back to class. Four. My lunch break at school is 30 minutes long, um, but really it's an hour for real because they say after lunch we have 30 minutes of independent study. Um, and I'm not trying to independent study at school, so I think I'm going to just take an hour lunch. But realistically though, they really want you to be back in the class. Um, so yeah, when I pull up in the school, I'm going to eat this, eat a little bit of this food and then go back. I just hate that I forgot the damn dressing. That's the only reason. That's the only goddamn reason today that I could eat my salad. Hey y'all, so I just got out of class. Um, I'm on the way to get the boys right now. I'm actually pretty close to the school. And I just want to talk to you guys for a few minutes while I'm waiting. So long story short, I had an exam today, my very first exam of the entire um, school, school year. And I got a 79%, which I think is pretty good given the fact that it's literally two days into the school year. and we didn't have a chance to study crap <laughs> not anything and i think the teacher knew that like she kind of said it out loud that i know you guys didn't really study or have time to study for this but yeah she still gave it anyway um but i feel like 79 is good for a person who didn't even get to study any of this stuff i also have another exam tomorrow but for a different subject the exam that i had today was for nursing fundamentals and then tomorrow the exam that i have is for anatomy and physiology so yeah I think I, I'm really confident about the anatomy and physiology exam because I actually have had a chance to study that and I feel like a lot of the material I feel like I know so I'm definitely super super excited about that um, I also want to sit down and write down a few things for YouTube for one I have to do a day in the life of a med tech video I got requested that video about a week ago and they commented on one of my older videos that I did of um, day in the life of a med tech and they asked if I could do another one so yeah I'm gonna be doing another one for them but like tomorrow sometime tomorrow evening i want to sit down and write it down and like plan exactly what i'm going to be talking about in the video because the person that did make the comment they asked if i could give them like tips and tricks and like some extra steps and all that stuff so i want to sit down and write that down and i also want to take the time to like i don't know if i'm gonna basically i want to take the time to like gather some questions or some video topics or things like that that I could use for my nursing school vlogs um I know that I've been like vlogging this whole journey from like from me start to finish that I'm going to be doing but I feel like there's some questions that you guys may have or like I don't know I just thought there's questions that you guys may have about this whole whole process or certain things that you specifically want to see and I feel like I want to like talk about that or like make that clear in the videos or answer questions in the videos so yeah um i don't know if i'm gonna go on instagram and do what i'm thinking about or if i'm gonna post it on like 
freaking Twitter or what, but somewhere I'm going to post like, hey, send me your questions that you have about me in nursing school or send me topics that you want to see. And not even just about like nursing school per se, but you guys can also like ask me stuff about like how I'm handling mom life while being a nursing student and um, relationship stuff while being a student or anything really. I just, I just want more video topics to talk about because I feel like I don't want to get behind on my YouTube videos while I'm in nursing school because both things are important to me. Like becoming a nurse is important to me, but uh, being a successful YouTuber is also important. And, and important, God, I can't talk sometimes. <laughs> it's also important to me just as well. So, yeah. Um, as of right now, I'm gonna just get off the camera because there's really nothing for me to do. I'm literally sitting in the school line and. I'm, I'm just ready to I'm just ready to go. I'm ready to get these kids and go do what I gotta do. And taste count together. School working out. It is 9.47 and I am studying and eating a cookie from Chick um uh, I almost said Chick-fil-A. Panera bread girl. <laughs> Good morning guys. So it is now Friday. Um today is technically an online day for me and class, but I'm not gonna actually be doing online work the entire time. Um, I have to do mom stuff in between. So I'm dropping the boys off late to school today because I had to do a mandatory 8 a.m. conference with my entire class. So I did that. It's now about 8.25. Um, the boys are not gonna be super, super late to school, but they're gonna be a little bit late. So it's not a big deal. Um, after I finish going to drop them off, then I gotta come back to the house. I have to send my teacher an email so that she can send me the link for the exam that I have to take later. And then after I send her the email, I have to leave back out so I can go take my youngest son to the doctor's office so I can get his physical done. Uh, girl, it's a lot, but nonetheless, I'm getting it done. Um, Later on today when I come back, I'm also going to sit down to tell you guys about exactly what we've been working on within this first week of school, and I'll talk to you guys later. Hey y'all, so I am editing a video for you guys, and I realized I never ever even did an outro, so that being said, that's what we're doing right now. Um, also, excuse the noise of the washing machine and the dryer in the background. I'm doing laundry. Um, if you know, you know, mom life and school life, you you gotta do stuff when you can. And so yeah, while I'm up working on an assignment and editing this YouTube video, I am doing laundry. I also did some deep cleaning earlier so that through the rest of this week and then through the weekend, I won't really have to worry about it. Of course, I have to do the basic stuff like washing the dishes and like mopping the floor and stuff like that and sweeping, but I don't have to do the main, main things like dusting and stuff. But yeah, girl, I am just drinking one of these right now while I study. Um, these are how some of my flashcards look. I think they're so cute. This is how the back of them look. Um, well, I messed up on the little word right there, if you guys can see, but it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I was not going to be remaking it just because, um, but anyways, you guys, I just want to show you guys a, a simple thing that I've been doing within my first week of nursing school that has really helped me. Um, these flashcards are one thing that has, I, I feel like this is a godsend thing. Like I am so grateful for flashcards. They help me a lot. And, um, it's been my main studying tool but something else that i will say is like saying the stuff out loud and repeating the stuff to myself has been the biggest help just as well um between these flashcards saying stuff out loud and repeating it i think i'm going to be very successful within this nursing program. <laughs>